Good morning, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is uh, Valheim Day. Well, at least for now it is. Um, but yeah, we're going to be continuing some Valheim. We've got to... I think we found a decent swamp last time. Oh yeah, we found a swamp that had the, uh, the Sertling spawners in it. And I think it had at least a few dungeons that we could see, so we already found a good swamp, so we just gotta get in there, not get fucking owned, <laughs> get some iron, and I think we're gonna try to find a new base kind of not near the center of the fucking world, cause that just takes a million years to like, do anything really, but yeah, we're gonna get started with that. But before we do, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which pays bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. I have a donation button below my stream. I have an exclamation point donate command that will take you there as well. My chatbot shares that command every 30 minutes. And I have a QR code on my, that'll be on the screen in the bottom left corner that you can scan. That will take you to the donation page as well. I don't receive any sort of kickback or anything like that from this. Uh, it just lets me focus more on playing games and keeping y'all at least somewhat entertained while I also fundraise. And it, either way, any support, fundraiser or otherwise, is greatly appreciated. All right. Let me pull up Valheim. This game is an exceptional fucking game of its genre. It's still getting updates too, so. Like, as you can see over here, um, like, back in November they got, like, the next biome released with, like, tons of new stuff and all that. Whenever you want to load, uh, Valheim, that'd be great. Where's this crap? There we go. I had to like turn the source off and on again, which is weird. Plus the theme the theming is fucking chef's kiss like just real good. Okay, we were signed out in the middle of the field. And what did we have going on over here? Oh, we uh, planted some more seed turnips. <clears throat> I do see that we unlocked, um, well, unlocked, quote unquote, we um, made some sausages. Let's see what we can do about that. Yeah, so I think we I think we made only that much sausages because that's the only amount of intros we had. <laughs> Flint head arrows. Uh, let's see if we can put those away because we don't really need those, I don't think. Let us instead make some.
fire arrows because those are generally more useful, especially in the crypts themselves, in the like the sunken crypts themselves, just because well, there's not rain to put you out in the sunken crypt, so you can just like shoot an enemy and then let the the damage over time kind of soften them up for you. Plus, I kind of need to use up some of this uh, stuff. So we'll just make a decent amount of these arrows immediately. Okay. That clears up a space in that box and clears up a space in this box. There. This one can hold the extra fire arrows, and I don't think we're gonna need the torch anymore. We'll probably just throw those away, like when we get back to the swamp. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Yeah. This is the um, the spot where we. Um, Found the certlings. I'm almost certain we're probably not down here anymore. But I'll double check that before we delete the marker because maybe we are and I'm just a fool. <laughs> Let me check Discord thingamajigs. Alrighty, we got some smosages. Yeah, let's make some food, more, food, at least some other food before we leave, so that it can go with the sausages at least somewhat. I think part of the problem is that the um, the carrot soup uses uh, mushrooms, which is kind of annoying. I don't think we have any more mushrooms, but that's why you that's why I've been trying to like mark stuff on the map so that we can go back and get like mushrooms when necessary. But there's not an awful lot of them on this part of the map it looks like on this on this meadows or maybe there I've it's also possible I've just missed some cuz I just wasn't really looking for them. So we're going to try to head to the spots I have marked. Get some mushrooms. I guess in the meantime, let me grab my little knife. Oh, I think I probably I probably moved it out here. Yeah, I did. Yep, I moved it out here with my little farming dude. And uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna kill some of the boars that are in there, and then. Um, start breeding them again, but I would be too far away for them to do their breeding things, so they want it would be a waste of resources. So instead we're just gonna mosey on over this way. Because there's uh, some mushrooms there. Oh whatever. Breed over like blah, 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 blah. I'm like whatever. <laughs> Try to keep my eyes open for more mushrooms that I might have missed because 
I can promise I probably didn't pay that much attention when I probably should have all the time. Now, mushrooms can definitely show up in the uh, Black Forest, too. <clears throat> but I think they're more common in the in the just the regular uh, meadows kind of wooded areas. Let's see. Still not super common anyway. Oh, I just got like unmarked raspberries right here. Don't really matter right now, but I try, I'm trying to be in a better habit of marking all this stuff as I find it, even if I'm kind of like in a hurry because like yeah, there's like another big patch of raspberries here that I just don't have marked and if I need raspberries I'm gonna want to know where they are so we're just gonna kind of waddle around this area see if I can spot some more some more fun guys Probably still leave a, uh, a well, I'll have a portal at some point going back to spawn, just because that's convenient for just life. <laughs> Let me drink some coffee. Mm. Hello, little fish. I think we did find Haldor last stream, too. So, if eventually we could buy the fishing rod and some bait and try to catch some fish. I don't think we can do much with fish yet and then cook them, but I guess that counts. You know, cooking fish is something with them. <clears throat> Not a, not a bad food source, it's just you have to be able to consistently get them. And without a fishing rod, that's not really going to happen. Alright, well, we're going to mosey on over this way because there's like some mushrooms somewhere over here. I'm going to do this near the beginning of stream because all these resources, like these mushrooms, have respawn times. I don't think mushrooms is nearly as long as like the raspberries, but oh boy, <laughs> what do you want? Apparently that. Let's go ahead and just... Oh, 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 bye. <laughs> Let's see. Come here, Stinky. Come here, Stinky. There you are. Hello, Stinky. Goodbye, Stinky. So I know I found some more mushrooms somewhere. I'm just... Trying to keep my eyes open in case I missed some, just out in the out in the world, because that's the only way you're gonna get them is by searching them out. And this food, and then a food later in like the Silver Age, which is basically just when you're up in biome four, um, needs mushrooms. Like actually, one of the best foods that you unlock from that time needs mushrooms. Um, did I already pick them from here? I might have. I might have done that like last stream or something. Just went and grabbed some mushrooms so I could make something. But, yeah, I should have just did like a full, full supermarket sweep. 
Just like the 90s. I'm mostly trying to go to like to, to empty spots on that I don't have anything marked on the map in case there's like some like mu mushroom spawn or something I miss. That's, t that's typically how I like find new ones is I kind of go to spots on the map I don't have stuff marked and search those areas just in case I like missed something. Like we're back at this little house now, which it's great, but I get a feeling there's not any mushrooms around here. Or if there are, I'm just not seeing them. I should probably go back to my base to get the rested boost for stamina, because it lets us uh, run for a lot longer overall. Stop, like, sideways walking, you little fucking weirdo. <laughs> you little fucking weirdo. Uh, I'm stuck on a rock. Help. I need an adult. <laughs> There's an oak tree. Hello, Gord. Hello, Gonjus. Excuse me, tree. I may not be really actively seeking them out, but if I see them, I should still probably be marking raspberries. <laughs> well, thanks. Good job uh, running away, I, I guess. <laughs> Not really, didn't really put in much effort. They usually do, it just was kind of there. I wonder if like I was in just the right spot for its AI to just like lock up <laughs> or something. There's one ras, no there's a few raspberry bushes, I'll mark them. I'll mark them on my map, oh they already are marked. Ooh, look at me being smart f for once. Plus, this gives me an opportunity to just kind of kill extra boars that are just around the biome. Since our current, our current boar setup is uh, not at, not functional, so the boars aren't breeding like they were. I could set it up again, but we're possibly going to be moving to a different meadows biome that's closer to the swamp anyway. Some more, some more rasp burrs. Some burrs. You're not gonna come at me straight, are you? You're just gonna be a little gay tree. <laughs> little gay tree. Come here. They're not threatening in the slightest, but they're just kind of annoying. That's not a deer, that's a rock. I've been had. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be the worst idea if I was getting some of these birch trees too, because I am 
roaming far and wide. Okay, there are some mushrooms up here. At least they've been marked on the map to be here. I, 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 I surely must have did a little, like, mushroom run at some point last stream. I must have. Especially since I don't have any more at all in my base, I probably ran and grabbed whatever I had marked on the map. But apparently I missed a few, so I don't know. Whoop, whoop, whoop! <laughs> head to the spawn thing because there's sometimes mushrooms kind of spawning around the big stones so we'll check some raspberries spawning there but I don't think there's any shrooms big sad Oh, we have this thing now, so if we really want to, we can just kind of like run through the night and search for mushrooms, but I'll probably just try to swing through this little spot here. Let me just grab what I can find and then just call it good. As it is, we can make like five bowls of the carrot soup now, because they take uh, three carrots and one uh, mushroom. What? <laughs> just oh it's in one of these little fucking porta potties and I already got it probably it's the equivalent of like a viking age porta potty <laughs> and that's a branch I was like wait did I just like run over some mushrooms or something Wanna, wanna be surprised if I did that at some point, just like ran through some but didn't mark them because I didn't notice they were there. Like there's some raspberries here. Mark them mostly so I don't think that there's mushrooms there. I wonder if this camp thing I have marked on the map here is still set up. Cause if so I can just sleep there, it's not a big deal. I can maybe search the surrounding area real quick for stuff. When it's morning time, and then we can go back, make our carrot soup, and etc. etc. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we did grab like one wood. That's enough. <laughs> It doesn't have to be fancy. Yeah, like I got like nothing marked on like this part here other than I guess like a copper rock. So let's see if we can find some more shrooms in the nearby area before heading back. Shrooms in your local area. This is going to turn to Black Forest soon. It's kind of hilly, so second thought. Perhaps I shouldn't waste my time. That's a boar. I 
And this hilly terrain is really unfortunate because it's just nothing, not very, like if it's too steep, shit's just not gonna spawn. If I ever need raspberries, I'm definitely fucking set for life, because there's quite a few. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go through this little chunk of woods here and see if there's some some shrooms. Uh, we got anything in here? Oh, okay. I'm pro yeah, I was pretty sure I probably have, have looted anything in chests like that for a while. Like, it's been looted empty for a while, but... Bunch of mushrooms, not mushrooms, uh, berries. <clears throat> I'm about to have to cut my losses and just go without finding any more mushrooms just because. five and that's more I was expecting especially since I guess I did a mushroom run like this uh, sometime during last stream so I guess woohoo yay wahoo like a weirdly like intermixed biome area <laughs> big wide open fields though that's cool like if you need like a ton of space to build in then here you go you, you got it yeah we're just we're gonna just head back to base and get ready to go. Oh, sneaky little bugger. Are you? Why are you still following me? Perish. <laughs> Alright. So we did find more mushrooms. Just like... A grand total of... Oh, damn it. I pressed the wrong key. Whatever. whatever. I, haven't, I haven't pressed the wrong key like that in a long time. So I guess I was due. Um... Oh, there's three here. I only saw, really initially saw it two. Alright. Well, since we got that power active, we might as well use it and just run home, because... Yeah. 
But yeah, the, the mushrooms aren't super easy to spot unless you're really looking for them. And even then, like, it's they're not super easy to spot. <laughs> I kind of lucked out in spotting those even. Because I was just kind of stopping for a second to do something. I can't even remember what I was doing. And it's kind of just an unfortunate case of like... All of the parts of this biome I'm searching are very hilly, so there's a lot less chance of mushrooms spawning there. And they only really show up in the wooded areas, unless they're like inside like one of the little outhouses or whatever. What is... Nope, none in here. Just figured I'd check since I don't know if that would count as a, the P a, one of the POIs that can have them. Yep, just trying to stare at the ground and find some mushrooms on my way back, because, yeah. The mushing rooms. <laughs> Come here, you little cretin. There you go. Good job dying. You're a one star. Hello. Might have to actually take you seriously. Not too seriously, but still more seriously than most of the other garbage around here. So I think uh, I think uh, one star creatures can do like 50% more damage and have more like same amount of like health comparison. Which still, it's a fucking gray dwarf. It's not like it's that much harder anyway. It's like maybe two axe swings, like three axe swings instead of two, maybe. Or maybe not. <laughs> Who even knows? But, hey, we're back. Woo! Let's see, we got Trader, and we got Sertlings 1. And we got this one probably on top of the crypt that we found, I'm gonna assume. Okay. Put some stuff away. I was surprised how much boar meat we got from that. That's good. We already had a good amount, but that just means we can save this for later. Okay, put that away. We got a necktail somewhere. I know. Nicktail box. Uh, we're gonna move those to this box since they're more used for alchemy. Not alchemy, um, brewing meads anyway. So it's not a, not really. Right, we're gonna make like a few of these. Like specifically a few of these um these soups. And then we'll hold on to the rest of the mushrooms until we absolutely need to use them. Of 
Because we're kind of like in between uh, food tiers right now, so we're trying to not make too much of the old stuff until because we're working on getting the new stuff. Like these, this boar jerky, we we're gonna. It's all right, but it's not the best, so we're gonna try to not use much of it unless we really have to, which kind of have to right now, cause yeah. But we'll figure it out. All right, stones go outside. I specifically have stone boxes, <laughs> cause yeah. Something we can do though, you can go visit the Certlings. But visit visit in the biggest air quotes ever because they're not gonna be alive for very long. <laughs> and they're dead. Just like that. Yeah. Get finding finding and using one utilizing one of those by itself is game changing cuz that lets us get basically as many certain cores and coal, and coal as we want which otherwise you have to make your own coal and you have to um, go to those little shitty dungeons but just now we collected like 16 coal and three certain cores by doing literally nothing and i like that and we're gonna need that for when we do um, iron smelting in the near future. Hmm, I wonder there's some stuff around base I could be doing. Hmm. I'm still really confused on how this boar, like, got out. I'm gonna kind of get investigate this. Because it should not have been able to escape. I mean, we're kind of waiting around a little bit anyway, so maybe I could just get another boar up there so I can keep breeding them while we're doing other shit, because... If, I'm, if you're really far away, I think it unloads the area, so like the food stuff won't get used up as or anything like that. So, um, Kind of trying to wait till this food is able to um, be eaten again to kind of eat a full sh full spread of it, and then we'll go back to the swamp and do some stuff. So in the meantime, I'm gonna try to see how efficiently we can get this kind of thing built up to get another boar up here. So I want to say it's like, also what, what? What is going on with the terrain here? <laughs> Weird shit's going on. Grab that so I can raise the terrain and flatten it out a little bit more. Nope, no, no. Okay, cool. Well, at the very least, that makes it to where these can be much better supports for this. Which is kind of the only reason I was make doing this, is to make sure I could just do this better. Okay, and let's just kind of get a little ladder like right here so I can kind of get 
higher elevation and we'll pop a little a little friend up here let's get a little a little bit more height okay it's kind of like annoyingly what what are you doing you little asshole so I kill you on sight <laughs> Little, little, little fuckers wonder why I just murdered them on sight. That's why. You just won't leave my shit alone. <laughs> uh, I guess I could have been growing carrots while those are kind of reproducing. But it might be a little late for that now. Also, this is just gonna... Here. God, that took forever. Yeah, and I probably could have picked a less shitty place to build my little boar thing, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Just flying around. Okay, I think we're high enough to actually properly build. Oh, that's 45. We're not going to be able to push them up with that. Oh, it's not even like... Yeah, it wasn't even like the right spot. Oh, well, at least I know. I kind of have to like move it down by one. Oh, where is it? There you are. I'll break all this crap too. Okay, so in that case, that. That. Might have to do. Might just have to do another. Uh, might just have to do a pole like this, just to kind of get this built, because it's already like on like dangerous territory here. Okay, so now that's touching this, and you know it's probably not even going to be in the way. So that works. Problem is, well, other than me falling like a fool. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Other than me falling like just super easily like that, yeah, it's just a matter of getting this built down to the ground so I can push another boar up in there. Which admittedly shouldn't be really that bad, and I probably should have did this like a few streams ago so I could just keep making more boars cuz at least for the next like age of like life in like the iron age boar meat is still going to be like one of the best sources use uh, best food ingredients rather we'll work more on that when I get when I need more time to burn for now we're going to get ready to go do more interesting things than Housekeeping, basically. Uh, let's grab another. Um, before we do that, though, let's uh, visit these again. They should. They should might be. They might be back. I think it's like every five minutes. 
Oh, they're, yep, they're definitely uh, back. Oh, it's not Terry too. Yeah, look at that stinky over there. Yeah, there's some nasty things living in the swamp, so we don't want to spend much time here in the swamp unless we have to. I think only two of them spawned that time. Maybe they're like, maybe one of them spawns a little after the other for some reason. Why am I putting that there? Can't, don't really know, but what I do know is, um, yeah. <laughs> My question is, why do I just have like 14 bronze? What was I making that for? What was I doing with that? Um, I could definitely see it to be to upgrade this, but... Oh, well, I see that my forge is only uh, tier 2, so I probably was trying to save up for something to upgrade that. Let me see. Can you fucking not... Where did you even go? Shit ass. <laughs> I mean, I don't really even need this thing open, like, here now, because I don't have to make my own charcoal. That won't... What? I don't know what it is even saying I won't work. Like, what? <laughs> What was it even talking about? No idea. Why? Why you like this? Why you fucking like this? Y'all are the worst. I hate you. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to have a good time and these fuckers are just not letting me. I'm just in my little, my gay little house trying to have a gay little time and they're just like, no, how about you um, have to come outside every five seconds? That's also why I want to move house. I'm tired of these assholes. <laughs> they're just constantly bother you if you live anywhere remotely close to the Black Forest. I mean, it's good to get like an extra stream, little stream of like resources for free, I guess, but like otherwise, yeah, it's kind of awful. We're gonna switch back to this, cause yeah. Okay, we've got food, we've got this stuff we're going to throw away. P bringing this just in case, or bringing these just in case as well. To get like emergency uh, stamina restores in case we need to like run away. How are these doing? Oh, this one's... Oh, that's annoying. These, This one's done already. And I absolutely need to be replanting these, like, as soon as I'm able to, because... Yeah. Turnip, turnip, turnip-based foods are a nice upgrade. Like, there's turnip soup, which is a little better than this, but it uses uh, boar meat instead of mushrooms, and you can just kind of, you know grow boars anyway, so. Uh, we'll probably play around in the swamp for a little bit and come back and 
have those ready to pick and redo stuff with. Uh, let's go back here. I think this is where I had a have a dungeon. If we can, if we can avoid drinking a. Uh, Oh yeah, that's right, I smelted two irons so that I could, um... Damn, they die from over here, even? I smelted, I got just two iron last stream so I could start, so I could upgrade this little thing to be stone. Okay, so, we're going in here. For real this time. Except I need to make campfire in here so I can dry off if I have to go into any underwater things. That's stuff for the stone uh, maker. Let's go back home and grab like five stones and like four wood. I, I was thinking of something else and got sidetracked. <laughs> Not especially difficult to do. Nice thing is though, is this dungeon here is close enough to that circling spawner where every five minutes, like every so often if I pop out, they'll just die and drop more stuff. But since the area is not loaded, it won't like despawn things, I don't believe. So we can just spawn a bunch of them while we're doing this stuff anyway. Yeah, we're gonna want to set up a campfire. Like I usually put it like right, like right here as close as the game will allow me to place it to like the wall. And then load up with some extra wood. We're gonna step out, throw these torches away. Because I'm not gonna need these anymore. They can just kind of exist there. Maybe they'll eventually despawn. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Don't care. Get back to this. We didn't quite break through here. We can't really see who's on the other side. But I can imagine there's some slimes somewhere. Well, that's a dead end, so don't have to worry about that one. Uh, there might be some slimes through there. Maybe they're probably over, they're probably through here. Maybe not through this particular spot. But oh, we've got another piece of scrap iron. Now I did, uh, I was watching some YouTube at, when I had some time at work last night, and I, um, it's like not a super, like, new trick, but there was a trick where you could do in Valheim where, like, you have, like, your characters keep their inventory even if they go to different, uh, worlds, like, different, like, game worlds. So what you can do is you can fill up your character's inventory with a bunch of, like, iron, and, like, this world, and then you could put them into another world, Put that stuff, put that iron in a chest, and then move this character to your base, and then swap stuff around. Quack! Hello, good morning, Cloudy. We are in a stinky, wet dungeon. I can hear some slimes hopping around. Oh, yep, you can see him. Maybe I can just kill them without having to use anti-poison. Okay, cool. Um, 
Let's switch on our little headband here, just so we can see a little bit better. Oh, damn it, I got wet. Whatever. It's okay, there's nothing there anyway. <laughs> but good morning, Cloudy. Good morning. Thanks for stopping in. These, the primary focus of these dungeons is to find iron. Well, I guess there's like three kind of primary things. To find iron, find the uh, spawn location for the third boss, and to find the summon item for the third boss, which are these like withered bones that we'll probably see at some point. And we might even have one from the uh, mud piles. No? Okay. Uh... Alright, let's kind of backtrack a little bit. Partially so I can get this, uh, get dry. Okay, I'm dry already. Nice. It must have happened when I wasn't paying attention. I was hoping I found some more uh, Draugrs to fight. Oh, I hear I hear some. Because we need their entrails to make some sausages. <laughs> as gruesome as that sounds and probably is. Oh, I see a stinky. We could probably just shoot him through the the hole in the wall here. It's like some RuneScape levels of of cheese, and I love it. <laughs> Anything else this way? Nope, just that one Draugr in the room all by itself. Okay, well that little end there is empty. That end goes to nowhere as well. Got 11 iron from just like mining around, so let's step outside and we'll put it in the box here just to lighten our load. Oh, more of our friends over there just perished. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Okay, that was nothing as well, so let's go this way. Oh, yep, there's a wither bone. You need 10 of those to summon the third boss. little mushroom hole here in the wall kind of like wing of the dungeon is cleared out let's that wings was pretty clear basically uh, let's go uh, through here and see what waits us um nothing this dungeon is empty now <laughs> I mean, it, it's got some stuff left in it but uh, no, actually, no, that's it. That that was the last way I hadn't gone yet, and... I mean, we got some iron out of it. Can't really be too mad, but not... We didn't really get much. We got, like, one entrail. We need, like, at least a few more to do anything useful. 
So we got uh, 18 iron out of that dungeon. We smelted two of it to make some like a stone cutter previously. Hmm. Well, let me mark this dungeon on the map and then um, I'll go in here so I can kind of accurately mark where it is on our map. I like using these little things. There's pro they're probably meant to be like portals, but they're probably meant to be like portals or something, but they're... Not, I don't really do use them for that. Take a look at all this stuff. <laughs> There's just a bunch of free stuff. We got like 20, 26 coal and like three startling cores for free. There's a fucking leech. Stinky. Is our boat? I can see our boat over there, actually. Which means on this thing, I can clear that because our boat's not there because it's right there. <laughs> right. Kind of put these away here for right now just so we're not weighed down. Um, kind of want to see if I can find some more dungeons, because that's how we're going to get more iron. So let's drink one of our uh, poison resistances, and we will... Oh, there's a dragger right here. Oh, you're a one star. i got to be careful with you. Yep, that's why you gotta be careful with those, cause our shield sucks still, and um, yeah, they they do like 50% more damage than the normal ones, and the normal ones do decent damage, so I probably shouldn't have even bothered that thing. <laughs> oh, pain in the ass. Thankfully, we can just get back real easily, so it's not a big deal. Because we have portals. Uh, I can check on these now. Okay, I, I, I should replant these before I go, because these are now seeds. And we gotta replant these, and then I think we'll be ready to go. Okay. Yep, there we go. Easy as you like. And we just waste, basically wasted a fucking anti-poison potion, too, which sucks. I mean, I have more, but... Eh. Just kind of sucks. Yeah, we had a portal, like, right here anyway, so... We we didn't get very far, and then we just died a very fu pa painful death. <laughs> Let me just uh, grab that. Let's kind of retreat back to the rel... Well, this place is empty now, so we can kind of go in here and, like, regroup. Equip our... our armor isn't really even that good. It's like, we have, like, 30 armor, and that thing probably does a lot more damage than that. <laughs> Oh shit! He's still there. Ah! Let's lure you. Let's lure. Let's lure you out. So the enemies are strong, but they're not always very smart. All right, so we can go back and make some more sausages now. We need to, cause I ate my last sausage and then died. <laughs> It's like, what would you like your final meal to be? Uh, I would like to have uh, some sausages made from the guts of a zombie. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's make some more. 
I need some boar meat, some cases, some entrails, which I think I have just enough here. And sausages. Yeah, that's one of the first things we're upgrading is our shield. But unfortunately, we kind of have to like get the iron back home and... Although we can do the thing I was saying that is possible where you just like, um, where you basically like kind of cheat to get iron, your, your metal p moved around places. Cause you can't normally bring them through portals, but you can just like make a new world where there's like a chest that you can just kind of put stuff in and then, um, like log into that new world, put your ore in there. Move your character on this world to your ba back to your base, through a portal probably, and then log into the other world, grab your stuff back, and then log back into this world. And you can do we do it that way, but that's not really in the spirit of the game. So I don't n want to do that. It's kind of getting closer to nighttime. I could just sleep. But I kind of also want to just progressively work a little on this boar thing. Don't really know exactly how to describe It's a boar tower. It's boring. Okay. Yeah, once I get a boar back up in that little spot, we can just break this down pretty easily. Oh, now we need more freaking core wood to do anything, so. We'll, we'll go get a little bit more of that. Should be some pines around here. Yeah, this is partially why I want to just like move houses. These little jerks just show up all the time. Like you're just trying to do something and they're they're just there. Now, admittedly, they're great. Their great or fives are useful. But there's only so many you really need immediately. How much core? Oh, that got us back up to 16 core, but that's plenty. Ah, eh, whatever. <clears throat> Do a honk, shoo, me, me, me.
Yeah, I don't really care if it's like this. I, it's not. It's not going to be perfect. I just need to get get it built so I can get the, the boar back up there so they can just make more boars. More boar than seven years ago. <laughs> There we go. Let's move this cart out of the way. I do only have two in here. Okay, uh, we'll grab one from in here instead. But for sanity's sake, we're going to have to uh, make these little uh, round pole fences so that I can, so that the board doesn't just have grandiose ideas of just running everywhere and not going where it needs to go. Again, no idea how the board got out of there, because that one's still in there. No idea. I probably I probably never know why or how it got out of there either. It's just one of those things. Thankfully, we don't have to go very far. It's just a matter of getting it, up, getting it up there. Ooh, that's a little bit of a tight cut there. Okay, so we'll just put some there. Oh, I don't know what the hell just got placed there. I was moving my mouse around and it like jammed against my keyboard. <laughs> okay, this is annoying, so let's uh mind that. That should be doable. Yeah, we only, only we don't we uh, we only <laughs> we only need to get one boar up here. And honestly, it's probably going to be you because you're really close. There we go. Come on. Come on. Like, building this whole contraption is generally the harder part. Although... The boars do sometimes um, do annoying shit. Well, 
like, refuse to go in, but I can do... Is that how you fill out? We're keeping that there. We might just keep that there anyway. Like, I don't really mind if it's there. It's ugly, but... <laughs> you know, whatever. I could probably just deal with it. In case the boar decides it wants to fall out of its little house again. Um... Hopefully that lures the boar over here. It seems committed to being annoying. Me too. What you doing? You figure yourself out? There you go. You know what? I'll keep this because it seems like it, it was having some messed up shit going on with it when this was there. But you know what? Cool. All right. Let's put some. Let's put stuff away that we don't need. Then we'll head back to the swamp. Because to make a trip by boat worth it, I need to find some more, uh, another dungeon, or maybe even two, and go through them. Although, again, we might end up, uh, like, where, where was this? We might end up trying to like find a, a meadows that's on the same continent as this and just setting up a base there instead, because... Yeah. It's closer, and then we could just like haul... We could make a boat ride to there with like the stuff to make our workstations and all that. Like, all like just pack... Basically pack up our entire house in, in the boat. <laughs> All right. Well, I can see some booties up there. No, I'd expect them to uh, be trying to breed now. I can't really like see them doing anything though, so. That was a little reckless. I, ha I have a portal, what am I doing? Y'all are happy, you should be doing a thing. Or maybe you didn't when I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, you, you did, okay, they, they definitely did. <laughs> I definitely somehow just missed them doing their thing. Not that I was trying to watch. Mostly I was just didn't really know if they were actually working how they're supposed to. But yeah, we're just going to keep this here for now. So if the boar falls again, we can just easily push another one out and get it up there. Get another bit of that. We've got more turnips growing. We've got nine turnips there. And um, once those grow up, we can plant them to get more seed turnips to get uh, 
make her have up to 27, and then you keep tripling it each time. So since we're probably going to be using, we might end up be, we might end up be using, we're just going to use the mushrooms. We're, we're probably going to end up using um, this food stuff for the rest of the stream. So I probably should make uh, like three more of these carrot soups. And then we'll make some more boar jerky as well. Although, honestly, I think eating something like fish would do us better. And clear out this box a little bit. So, yeah, we'll just swap this out for some fish. I'll give us some more health, which is what we're going to probably want when trying to fight stuff anyway in the swamp. Because, as you saw, the, that, that one-star Draugr Archer did a lot of fucking damage. <laughs> they tend to do that. that things, are, things hit pretty hard in the swamp. Uh, I don't suppose we can make a uh, frost mead yet, can we? Oh, we can. Um, let's go ahead and start brewing up some of those, because we'll need some of those for the next stage after this one. So that's... We have, like, one blood bag. I don't think that's enough. I mean, we'll see, but I, I have a feeling we need more than that. Yeah, we need two. <laughs> Sorry, we need two, not one. Well, we get those from killing the um, the leeches, so it's really not hard to get that. We just gotta actually go out of our way to do it. One of these next times when we're in the swamp. There they go. <clears throat> now it's like, oh, before I do that, I need to destroy this portal. Let's quickly see if we can get a uh, ten wood as well to make another. Um, workbench okay that's more than enough that's fine so we don't really need this here if we have the one for the um for that there, but we definitely want that portal to come with us so that whenever we do find another dungeon, we can, you know, get back to it pretty easily. It's a normal start one star, normal no star draggers we can fight, because our shield is good enough to parry them. So let's just kind of explore around a little. Mostly just to kind of see what's in the area. Our boat is still here.
consume our food. We'll just heal up over time. Excuse me. Oh, uh oh. Uh, let's um be a little more cautious. Skeleton's just gonna find us anyway. But we might be able to. It's a lot safer to fight these. Um from a range, if possible. This guy's fine. But that one star Draugr with the fucking axe worries me. Well, like this guy come around the corner. Yeah, no zero stars, Draugr's aren't a problem. It's when you start getting these one stars that show up every like so often that you get your pro actual problems. So let's just kill him. Okay, cool. Cool and good. The advantage of killing one stars is that they drop twice as much stuff, so we get much more entrails that way, but but if you're going through these dungeons anyhow, you tend to get a lot of fucking entrails anyway, so. So it's fine. Uh, let's see, not really anything over there. Don't know what that is over there, but I'm not going after it. Okay, yeah, it's starting to get a little dark. As soon as we start seeing it get too dark, we're gonna want to leave because um, some pretty unfun things spawn in the swamp at night. Yeah, it's starting to get a little too dark for my taste, so let's uh put this down and then we'll put this down. And we'll get the GTFO. <laughs> All right, and then what we'll that we can put away the the certling cores and stuff that we got previously. Wouldn't be the worst idea to use up some of these sausages, or use up some of the yeah, make some of these sausages while we're just kind of. It's not quite night yet. And it doesn't really matter, we could just go to sleep now anyway, but... Now what we can do is we can just kind of split these, and now we've got all this food stuff kind of all balanced, like 25 minutes, 20 minutes. Like, we might end up, like, eating more of the fish but maybe not even like it's kind of numbers are weird the numbers are weird sometimes but sometimes they're not like you sometimes you just kind of be patient you can kind of eat eat food all at the same time even if the times are slightly off yeah we need to sleep
All right. Let's check on our turnips. Check on the boars. Make sure it's still up there. Yep, they are. I just have no idea how that boar even got out of there. And these are probably doing fine. Yeah, they're doing fine. I can imagine another game day and those will be ready to harvest and replant for seeds. So we'll try to keep on top of that. But in the meantime, back to our portal here. Like this thing I'm doing where this thing I'm doing where I put down this like blank this like untagged portal and a workbench. It's 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 all it's what I'd say it's more in the spirit of the game than the thing I was saying where like you get all your ore and on your character, then you log off and go to a different world and then in that world you put all the ore in there and then you move this you move the character on this server that doesn't no longer has the ore on them. To where you want them to be yeah that's a little more cheaty then putting down a portal with no tag so you can just kind of go home that's at least more in the spirit of the game because that's what portals are for are for you transporting yourself oh this will get that some guck I see that, but I don't think that's a dungeon, so. Mm. Before, the, before, our, before this uh, anti-poison runs out, I would, should probably kill this goo. You can see the droggers just over there. Let's see if we can get a good shot on one. I'd say it's a pretty good shot. Yeah, but I see this wasn't a dungeon. It has these uh, little green torches, but those aren't only for dungeons. There's these, like, things talking about Jirager. Long, long ages ago, the world... The world... Ugh, fine. <laughs> the world of Valheim was home to a race of proud and noble people. They built great towers that touched the clouds and delved deep into the earth for precious metals. But their pride was their undoing. They challenged the very gods and went to war against the Aesir and Vanner, destroying themselves completely. Great Odin leveled their cities and Loki consumed their mines in fire. Mighty Thor broke down their towers and Freya sowed their fields with salt tears. Now they are sunk many hundreds of years deep. No songs sing of their stories. And the earth has claimed their cities. But pride cannot be killed entirely. And the warriors who fought in that final battle will not surrender until their bodies are dust. And the dust long gone. They return as Draugr, unholy walkers in ancient armor. Creatures of rust and, and despair. Break them, bury them, let them know they are dead. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Oh, well, there's like a tiny bit of like <laughs> meadows right here. Kind of like a temporary reprieve from like the doom and gloom of the swamp. Only temporary reprieve, though. 
Oh, I actually hit him. I thought I, I thought I missed him. Oh, entrails. Mmm. Yeah, we already got another four entrails. Like sausages are like a super efficient food because they, it's like four entrails, one thistle, and one boar meat. hide behind this tree. You'll never find me. Psych! <laughs> it's like, psych, I was here the whole time. Ooh, did I just drop him? Oh, alright. Oh, god damn it. This fucking tree decided this was the place to spawn. Well, it looks like we're going to be leading this tree back to um, where we want to fight it at, because we cannot, we cannot stand up to this tree monster currently as our... Get out of the water, please. Yeah, we can't actually, like, fight this tree monster currently with our current um, gear. Effectively. So we're going to want to bring it near this fire here and then have it just catch on fire a bunch. We're also, we're also going to want to kill these little bastards because they're going to just be a distraction at, a distraction at best. Okay, the tree's over there. We need to get it back over here because it, it got caught on fire and ran away. Oh, I hit it. I wasn't expecting to actually hit it. Oh, Lord, he coming. Yeah, this tree monster takes a lot of damage from, uh, from fire. Woo! So we're going to want to, uh, Very carefully catch it on fire until it dies. Which means very carefully rationing our stamina and like avoiding it. Oh, that could be bad. Oh, oh we, I, I managed to get away with that. I probably shouldn't have been able to get away with that, but. Let's kind of position ourselves so the tree walks right over the fire. And just kind of stands in it for a little bit. Is it dead? Oh, looks like it's a little, looking a little dead there, tree. Perfect. We, I very much so want the stuff that the tree drops. We just can't really get it ourselves because, well... Those tree monsters do a lot of damage, but our inventory is fucking full. Of course it's full. Go away. We need we need the roots. I think we need the guck too. Uh, what can we get rid of? One thistle. Oh shit! I fr there's a there's a trogger spawner right there. Well, let's uh let's enlist the aid of the fire once more. Although they'll kind of avoid it. Like they're a little bit more intelligent than the tree is. A little bit. I didn't say very much, but a little bit. <laughs> like they still burnt to death too. Well, at least one of them did. But yeah, this is the other uh, certling spawner I eventually want to like get set up. Or at least one other certling spawner. I don't know if there's more in this. Looks like they're. No, that's probably our one we are. Yeah, it's the one we already have kind of like identified. So, 
Yeah, these certainly spawners are a very easy way to kill those big trees. Matter of fact, we're gonna probably take a moment to kind of try to set this uh, spawner up for success. <clears throat> After we empty our bags of all this garbage, <laughs> we got a lot. Let's see. What does it take to make this uh, root stuff? I could have swore it was in here that we can make it. Did I not like get enough stuff? Hmm. Oh, that's why. <clears throat> it is because I haven't encountered ancient bark yet, which we we will. <laughs> that's not. We can cut down those tall, some of those tall, scrungly trees to get the ancient bark. Oh, and apparently you don't need guck for the stuff, so I just kind of picked that up for no real good reason. I mean, some stuff, some stuff does use this, but not the stuff that we just got and where we're going to be looking at, so. It's kind of... <clears throat> that... More of that... While we're at it, let's make more sausages. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, if you're just like fighting a bunch of droggers in the swamp, you get a lot of these entrails, and it's really easy just to make a bunch of good food. So let's do this, and then we'll split the stack. So I have some sausages at home in case I fucking die again. Because, yeah, you saw how easy it was to die. Very. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> and this chest right here is going to be like extra stuff chest. I guess you could say. All right, let's check on the turnips because I don't know exactly how. I can't really tell exactly how far along they are without, like, actually looking. Oh, they're getting there. Looking kind of chunky. Chunky and delicious. Uh, we got any piggies in there? I think we have a. We had a few, but. It shouldn't be grown up quite yet, I don't think. Yeah, there. okay, there's at least a few. One. Uh, we got at least three. That's that's cool. Three, pi three piggies is eventually 12 boar meat, because these two star boars are absurd. Are absurdly powerful. Alright. So, let's get back in here. I'm gonna work on getting this Certling spawner also kind of like set up. And since we have this stuff so close, this thing won't spawn any enemies.
Well, honestly, that's all we really have to do. Because now it's, um... We're gonna move this portal like kind of it, it needs to be a certain distance away from the um, from this for them to actually spawn we destroy this okay it is far enough away That is proof in concept that this is far enough away for things to spawn. Because these uh, portals also suppress spawns like the workbenches do. And frankly, you can, like, we can even see the other plume of flame over here. But we're going to be making a, another portal set between here and over there just so we can very easily um <clears throat> so we can very easily just kind of run up and collect all the stuff we want or need every like every five minutes we can kind of just go through and get a bunch of stuff uh do we i don't doesn't look like we have any more fine wood which is kind of annoying So we might have to spend some time getting some fine wood. Which means off to the forest. And it was like a, a big forest over here. I don't think we've really been to, but... Before that, let's sleep. <clears throat> They'll get us a rested bonus back and... It'll, prog it'll progress time so that the uh, uh, those turnips might grow. And then we can replant them as more seeds. <clears throat> <coughs> I was hoping to um, find some more turnip plants in the swamp while I was running around, but I haven't really seen any. Admittedly, I've not really been like keeping a close eye out for them, but I also just haven't really spotted any yet. Okay, let's see... Okay, at least some, at least some of these are, are ready to go. So we'll we'll go get our um, we'll go get some more fine. We'll need like forty of it. Because when we go, we have a uh, certlings we have certlings one here. When we go for that, we'll have up another portal that says certlings two. And then that portal we have in place back there that's unmarked, we can just change that to certlings two, and then we'll just make another. Um, then we'll hop, we'll place our untagged portal somewhere else. What are you doing? <laughs> Being dead, I guess. Yeah, I want to I want to bring this cart with me. In the event that we get a little too much wood and stuff from trying to, to do this stuff. I'm here to get fine wood, but these birch trees tend to give more wood than fine wood. Usually. Like, like trees have a guaranteed amount of wood they give. But the mix isn't always like guaranteed. <clears throat> like I think birch trees always give twenty-five wood. I mean, that's what we just, or maybe it's twenty-four. I don't know. We'll be able to see after this next tree. Now we cut down because there was also a gray dwarf we fought. 
So yeah, we're looking for the skinny little, skinny little white trees, the little birches. Although also, if we find some oak trees, we should absolutely cut them down too, because they also, they also give fine wood. An awful lot of it too. But they're also very uncommon. If not outright, just rare trees. Which is weird because if you've ever lived anywhere near an oak tree, they give like a million acorns. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I want to say each of uh, these uh, trees gives twenty. Each of these, uh, each of these birch trees gives twenty-four uh, wood. And most of that's gonna be normal wood. Although we already have like half of what we need for the portals, so that's not even that bad. Uh, we might as well get this while we're here too. Now, if you're clever, you can you can. There's these uh, purple, like kind of weird thing. Oh, I need to have my chat back up. Sorry. Um, <laughs> There's like these purple swirly kind of spawner things that spawn gray dwarves, and if you're clever, you can set up a kind of area around that to where it drops the gray dwarves into like fires, and they burn to death and drop all their wood and stone, and you can just AFK at one of those for a while. And, uh, yeah. Then you won't have to do shit like this for normal wood and stone, but like, if you're wanting your, uh... Your fine wood, you still have to kind of go out and get it, or otherwise grow trees. But the, the, the trees that give you fine wood have low seed drop rates, so it's very unlikely you're going to be able to uh, consistently farm those trees. I'm mostly just keeping the normal wood in here. Because as you can see, we're, our inventory is almost just full of stuff. Granted, we still have this garbage on us, which I probably should have left back at the base, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, we need another birch, unfortunately, because that tree didn't give me quite enough. There's, I mean, there's no real shortage of birches, necessarily. Like, we've got, like, this entire kind of biome area that's probably still got a lot of birches and maybe some oaks lurking around. We just need, like, one more, and then we'll be good, yeah. So, let's go grab this one. It's kind of thick. Yeah, these birch trees tend to cause a lot of pain and suffering to the rest of the forest when they're falling down everywhere. <clears throat> I 
All right, yeah, that's more than enough uh, fine wood for now. Come here. And hopefully when we get back, we'll have uh, the turnips ready to go as well. Now, see, we didn't even really have to go that far from our base. I'll just break this to kind of get it out of the way. Funny thing I saw in a vid in a video recently as well is like if you're playing multiplayer, you can have like your friend like fill their inventory up with a bunch of heavy stuff, then just have them get in the cart, like put a lot of heavy stuff in the in the cart, then have your friend hop in the back of the cart, get all the heavy stuff out of the cart, and then you can just pull your friend around <laughs> instead of the, having the cart weight be hard to pull, and just care can just be like a little. Kind of like those, like, I guess they're called rickshaws, where, like, they have, like, they just, people, just dudes that carry in carts around. Kind of like that. It's kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of a fun way to kind of just bend the game's rules a little. Not really bend the game's rules, even. It's like, the game lets you just do it, so it's, obviously, it's probably something they thought of, and we're like, you know what, sure, it might be fun. <clears throat> like emergent gameplay stuff like that is just really fun to me. I like the concepts of that. So we do have some oaks, some oaks, um, some acorns, oak saplings. We have acorns. <laughs> Say Minecraft, you can't just plant saplings. Okay, so no. We need four of these, which, thanks to our um, activities with the Certlings previously, we have, like, more than enough of these. It throbs with inner heat. Ooh, woo. You know who else throbs with inner heat? <laughs> our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, let me first go to this Certling spawner. And set up the other uh, thing. What are you doing, stinky? Oh, you're a one star. Now that really matters with skeletons, they're pretty weak anyway. Like, one star or not. Oh. Hello. Thanks for your entrails, nerd. Okay, and we'll set this one as Sirlings 2. This one's Sirlings 1. In the meantime, let's go, uh. What? Oh, you're also. Awesome. Well, that's unlikely. Unless I just don't understand your spawning there, little guy. But, yeah, uh, I think, um, one star creatures, creatures have like a 10% chance to spawn or something like that. But not, the numbers probably aren't correct but like they're definitely a lot less likely to spawn than no zero stars and then two stars are very unlikely to spawn I'm just gonna kill him because he's gonna annoy me sometime come here you think you're so clever Anyway, we got Certlings 2 set up, so we'll go out of here. Uh, 
And then we'll go through here <laughs> to the untagged one. They don't. They don't even stand a chance. Like I don't even have to like put like the stone thing here. I was just been doing that to make it nicer and easier to kind of like keep the leeches away. Because leeches can and will just ruin your day. I was gonna say, I could have sworn there was like more guck that I just didn't pick up from that tree. Yep, yeah, we're gonna change this to circlings to. And it should take us there, but if not, it'll take us back to the one with the uh, untagged thing. Which I think it did. Yeah, it, it did, but that's because, like, there's, like, a certain little, like, lag time between, um. Like certain like a little lag period between the 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 tag changes or whatever. Okay, let's see. Got you. Let's put the. I still need two of you for stuff and things. Uh, let's see. need twenty of you. Need ten of you as w ten, ten wood as well to make the, a workbench just out and about. Hey, there's like thirty two more coal for free. Basically, by just making those spawn into existence and then die horribly. <laughs> All right, well we're ready to head back and do some stuff. And ooh, actually, I need to check these first. I need to like be like religiously planting and replanting these. This is the only way. That's the only way you really get a good food supply is by just very, being very diligent and doing your chores. Okay, let's line you up there. Make sure you're not gonna fucking fuck up. A lot, it's a lot more important to, to for this kind of to do this this kind of planning when you've got a lot more stuff to plant. But yeah, but we got those replanted and those should give us twenty seven seeds next time. All right, let's uh, fix up some stuff and I'm going to use some of this bronze that I've just been kind of sitting on to. Uh, I need the. Okay, well, never mind then. That's probably why I haven't done it yet. Is I don't have the tier three, and to get the tier three, I need copper, but I don't want to deal with that right now. And we're gonna be moving house soon anyway, so I'm not really that pressed. All right, it's kind of looking evening time-ish, so we're gonna eat some sausages and then take us go to sleep. Living the American dream, just eating some sausages and then going to bed. <laughs> just like my grandpappy before me. Well, I picked up the fidget cube thing I have on my desk. It's just mesmerizing to just kind of flip the key. It's like a, I guess it's something called like an infinity cube where like it kind of flips in on itself. Dude, hello, Necky. Dude. <laughs> I was just talking. I was just talking about my um, my mental, my my brain doing silly things like enjoying playing with this cube thing I have on my desk. Grab another one of these poisons. 
Anti poisons, rather. And. We fought a big tree. Well, by fight, I mean we made it stand in the fire and die. Oh, yeah, these little guys are just suffering forever. And we found another fire jet place and set up, set that up for these little guys to also just endlessly die. As they are born, they die. At least they don't gotta deal with capitalism. Must be nice. <laughs> like they just show up, get wet and die. <laughs> it's kind of a mood, honestly. They're like, oh, I'm wet. And then they just take ma rapid damage and die. <laughs> Me too, bitch. Me too. Alright, well. What I. Did I leave something over here? Oh, entrails. Well, I didn't leave those so much as I probably killed something and didn't pick them up. I guess it still counts as leaving it, but. Mm. Semantics. But I hope you are doing well today. Oops. Skellingtons. Oh no. Y'all are going like the long ass way. Oh, because there's like logs blocking this. I was like, why y'all going th that? What? Eh, Skellingtons aren't very dangerous. They were a little problematic when we were had like no armor but once you have like at least troll armor like they don't really do much they really can't really do much I guess it's rather okay we're just kind of exploring the outskirts of the swamp trying to find more dungeons and just more interesting things to do mmm it's green it's a guck sack Mmm, yummy. Smells like rotting fish. <laughs> I'm also being a fool and just like not drinking my uh, anti poison potion. I mean, if you don't get hit by poison, you don't have to worry about needing an anti poison, right? Okay, let, let's uh drink one. <laughs> I need I need an, at least one more blood bag for progression stuff. Yeah, if I would have not drank that that anti, um, that would have done a lot more damage than it did. I'm honestly surprised I haven't seen any more uh, dungeons. I don't think they're that rare in the grand scheme of things. I just haven't really seen any more. There's that spawner area over there is dangerous. So is that one. Oh boy, there's just a lot of them around here, huh? Don't want to get too close to them because then things will spawn and that will be problematic. And I want to stay moisturized and in my lane, you know? Yeah, see, there's already a Draugr. Not the end of the world. Like, just Draugrs themselves aren't the worst, but when they have stars, they are get considerably more dangerous. Because some of them have bows. Oh, there's a black forest off this way. Okay, that's... Oh no! Uh, unfortunately, I don't really know what you would do about that. It's like now your glucose is too low. It yeah. The, the original problem with it was too high. 
<laughs> oh, here comes Stinky. I'm gonna punch this skeleton to death because I do not respect him. Ooh, I don't respect you either, one star leech. Punk ass. Oh, there's two one star leeches. Gross. I mean, they'll give a good amount of blood bags, but. Kind of awful to kill. Well, it turns out this swamp might not be a very good swamp after all. Like, there's like to the two Sterling spawners, but so far I've found only one dungeon, which is not great for progression, because that one dungeon only gave us like 18 iron, which isn't much. I mean, it's enough to do some some good stuff with, but it's just not much in the grand scheme of things. So we're probably going to have to sail around and find another swamp at some point. Oh, wait. Is that another one? Okay, I think that is another dungeon we haven't explored yet, so that's good. Good find. Alrighty, so. Oh, there's another fucking tree. Um, where's the nearest? Oh, we're gonna have to drag this thing a while. Um, uh, rub my eye real quick, cause it kind of felt weird. So this tree, we're going to have to drag this tree pretty far. We don't really have to, but I want to because... Wait, is that a, another fireplace that I've not done anything with? Because that'd be nice. Oh, shit. Punk ass. All right, well, we're gonna go in here real quick. <laughs> Avoid the tree, the monster tree, because we're gonna mark this on the map. We're not gonna do this right now, I just need to get away from this fucking tree for a second. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta massage to fix your back, it was both nice and painful. <laughs> that sounds about right. It's probably, they probably touch your back and like, oh, what trauma happened here? And you're like, everything, baby. <laughs> Okay, uh, there is another dungeon over here. Let's see if we can get this tree's attention again. Come here, tree. Because I don't want this tree to de... Oh, I don't think these trees can despawn. They're just kind of just big motherfuckers. But, yeah, I want to mark these... Uh, Places on the map. You're looking a little lost over there, tree. Um, well, I guess in that case, I can just probably just mark this thing here pretty easily. 
I was starting to get concerned that I wasn't really finding that many, um... Where's the tree? I know it's like, how can you lose sight of something that big, but... Uh, it's a, it, it was hidden behind a thing. But sometimes you just lose track of a damn tree that walks around. <laughs> Come here, punk ass. Tree, you're doing weird shit. What are you doing? Has it just not been aggroed on me this whole time now? Where was that uh, fire jet? It's over, over yonder. I can see the little dudes. Come on. Who's a good tree? Who's a good fucking stinky tree? Just gently kind of shoot it a little and keep it uh, interested. Hopefully. Come on now. Come back here. You're going to give up that easily? Don't you want to kill me? Oh, I can't believe I actually hit that shot. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot. I mean, honestly, at this point, it seems like I probably just kill with arrows. Where are you going? Come back! I'm right here! What are you doing, you loser? <laughs> He's like, no, I, I ain't having any of this. Keep running away from my spawn point. It's like, well, yeah, that's kind of way over here. I guess this, this is definitely a way to kill one of these trees. It's just not exactly how I was trying to. Maybe I should go a, a slightly less uh, complicated way that the tree can follow. I don't know if it's because it's like getting too far from its spawn point that it's just like, you know what, whatever, you can, you can escape, I don't care, but like... It's getting on my nerves a little bit. What are you going? <laughs> He's just going on a little fucking vacation. Do trees need to take vacations? I don't know if they really do. I've never really talked to a tree like that. This tree doesn't seem interested in, in taking a vacation because it keeps going home. I have a feeling it kept getting stuck somewhere. Like maybe if I give it something to do like that, it'll keep chasing me. Come on. I just want to burn you to death. Is that so much to ask?
All right, now I gotta kill these little bastards. Cause they are just, they're not dangerous, they're just annoying. Now I lost si sight of the tree. Oh, it's over there, just stomping around. Gotcha. Okay, so this is a third one of these, but this one's probably not as ideal because there's this thing they might be able to spawn on. However, uh, no, we'll, we'll kill the tree over here. Or rather, we'll let the fire kill the tree over here. Because it'll take a lot of damage from this fire right here. Especially if it does that and just sits right on top of it like a fucking fool. Womp womp. And with that tree stuff, we should be able to, um... Oh, that's a trophy. Well, I do want that. That's not exactly what I was emptying my inventory out for. Uh, how about you get, go? How about that goes away? Yeah. Because with that, now we can. Uh, I mean, I, could, I guess I could try uh, doing the uh, setting this one up. can't destroy this tree and or this either so I'm just worried that they would spawn on top of these and um, if they're spawning on top of these they're not dying instantly to water so it's just not effective to have to usually kind of quote unquote tame some of these kind of ones In the event that it is, does work out, though, we'll put a portal, like, right here, I guess. I don't know. I need a, uh, the work table, work bench, work ta I don't know what words are. That should be far enough away. And, well... Let me double check, make sure that the kind of area is close. Uh, I can to make this as ideal as possible, at the very least. Cause I don't know if they'll, I don't know if they'll spawn up here or not. Cause if they do, that kind of like ruins the whole thing. Cause they'll just kind of sh be on the tree, not instead of in the water. Trying to make as much of the area around it as ideal as possible. There's a Draugr. Ow, asshole. How about you come out of the water and say it to me again? Thought so. Punk ass. Alright, well. Let's go next to this one. We'll. we'll mark it on our map like even if it's not like super ideal we could at least like come by here every so often and if we have to we'll just kill them they're not it's not it's not a big deal and it's still free shit you know we just need to get out <laughs>
One good thing of the main reason I was going through so much trouble to fight that tree though is because we can um now that we have ten of these roots, we can we sh we can get some ancient bark and make a root mask, which makes us resistant to poison while we wear it, so we don't need these anymore. It's kind of the whole deal. It's why I was going through so much trouble to do that. Yeah, we'll test out the uh, the other one I was saying that might not work because of the tree. And if it does end up working, then that's... There's a fucking troll outside, isn't there? Where's the fucking troll? It's over here, isn't it? I heard it. I just don't know where it is. I see you down there, Grey Dwarf Brute. Where the f- where? No, it's like uphill. I'm gonna have to handle that. I don't- I don't dare sleep and have it just kind of stumble into my base and destroy everything, because it probably will. If I just sleep, but we'll stay here for 20 seconds or so. Because if we have rested, we should be able to just kind of run circles around him. Alright, cool. Yeah, he's like right here, too. Hey, big boy. Wait. Don't bot. Don't. Don't do that. Get your big ass over here. Leave my bees alone, you asshole. Thankfully, I can just rebuild, though, so it's not like that big of a deal but it's just annoying that it like oh! I've never really done done much of the, the, the rolling in this game cuz you can like roll like in Dark Souls to kind of like avoid damage but I've never really tried doing that much I've always been like, but more interested in doing like the parrying stuff. But I should probably get um, used to the whole uh, dodge rolling shit. How did I parry that? I shouldn't be able to parry the trolls with this shield. But apparently, I did. But apparently, I did. Uh, God damn it! <coughs> oh, the troll's dead. It destroyed my bees. More annoying thing is I didn't get the honey, the four honey out of them. Yeah, I can just rebuild the beehives pretty easily, so it's not a big deal. Just more annoying than like a de real detriment. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you serious? Where? Yeah, that troll kind of swung at my building a little bit. Not the end of the world. I'm glad I was able to kill it pretty easily. Well, I need to put this away. <laughs> just had the just had that with me for no no real good reason. All right, so I'm gonna need at least like one more like sort of food to kind of go with 
um, well, I need to put some stuff away first. One thing at a time. Yeah, this one's kind of just like overflow or extra shit. Hmm. Can I upgrade my armor anymore? Um, not just yet. I mean, I could, but I'm going to be probably switching out some of this stuff for new stuff anyway. So, yeah, whatever. And we got, did get some more blood bags. So we can actually make up some of these uh, meads that I was wanting to make. Because even setting foot in the mountain biome starts making you freeze and you start taking damage unless you have a potion or equipment to resist the, the cold. So you, it's one of those things you, you absolutely need to have the mead before you even go. I can't, what, what else goes into this? Great or five, of course. I'll just make, I'll just make uh, a batch of these. And those will just kind of work on their own while we're doing other shit, so. It's perfect. Let's actually move, um, well, I'll keep that stuff there, but, like, we'll move the honey down here. Why is that in there? No idea. Okay, Grotto for our eyes go back in there. We have this for doing, doing stuff. Yeah, of course. All right. Let's sleep now that there's not a troll threatening to step on everything. Mm. Actually, I gotta figure my food thing out because I need enough food to last for the, the rest of the stream. Gonna make another carrot soup. I'll make two more carrot soups just to kind of time me over a little bit more and then we'll just use. <clears throat> These boar jerkies. It's a bit less HP than the fish, but I am out of the fish now. That's kind of what I, my goal was to kind of use up those fish anyway. Okay, we'll split off that. <laughs> I am all about puns. I don't understand why people don't like puns. I don't get it. Uh, those are still doing their thing. We did. We. I did. I did bite the bullet and get build this thing to get the, a boar back up here and there should be two boars yep so that is functional it's just i'm not really breeding anything right now so let's, let's go back to the swamp and we'll, we'll see how this thing functions like if a if they all like spawn in the water and die then i could use this one too Oh, looks like they did, so I could probably, like, just use this one as a spawning place as well. 
might be in my best interest to like make a uh, a little wall or something here so the leeches can't get in but otherwise yeah what I am gonna need to do is get some ancient bark which ancient trees can give so we're gonna cut down a few of these Okay, that got us five, so hopefully we can get down another one and that'll get us to ten. Now, ordinarily, I don't even cut these trees down because inside these dungeons that I have been marking on the map, like uh, these two over yonder. <coughs> Sometimes the loot is just a good amount of the, this bark anyway, so I don't normally even bother with cutting the trees down, but hey. Come here, stinky. I need to make a box outside just for wood because kind of run into the same problem we had with the stone here is like we just just have too much so let's kind of try to finagle a little bit of a situation here We'll just put it there. No, we're gonna have like a, just a box, like here for wood or something. Like it's fine if, like, yeah, we'll just do that because. Still pretty easy to access the wood when they need it and yeah it gives this chest we can still put wood in here but like that's kind of like the main wood storage out there i guess okay and i think i need some scraps and we should be able to make the root mask yes it's a little less armored than our hood by like two but it makes us uh it does make us weak to fire, but there's not much fire in the swamp, and it basically gives us, I don't know if it's quite as good as the um, poison resist potion, but it's, as long as you're wearing it, it's a poison resist. So it's overall probably just better to have. Plus you look like a little plant person. Woo! Well, we got 30, uh, we got 38, well, we got, well, it's 38 now. We got, like, 22 more minutes, um, we can probably go into one of those dungeons and just kind of fool around and try to get some more stuff out of it. Wait, let me see. Yeah. Um, we went through a crypt, that crypt, in its entirety, but it wasn't very much. It was pretty short, and there wasn't a lot of loot in there. 
Actually, I don't think there was a single loot chest in there. So hopefully one of these other ones is a little more substantial. So. Mm. On the other hand, though, I probably, I probably should just get the portal set for this made. Uh, yeah, we'll do that instead. I need to get more fine wood for that. But we, we, we did explore the, we did explore the rest of this swamp. Find two more dungeons. Find, get these two set up to get more stuff from them. And, yeah, and we got a, we got an armor upgrade with the mask, so that's pretty good. I, I'd say that's good progress for today. So we can focus on getting the fine wood we need now, which means more birch trees. Oh, <laughs> I must have ran over a rock. <laughs> All right, I know you're there. I see you running around like a little fool. from that tree. That's not bad. Alright, let's cut down this next one. all this like residual wood from all these little trees getting destroyed okay well now we're up to 17 we need uh we need 33 because we have seven at home still oh, we got a seed that's cool all right let's see can i spot any more birches immediately no, well, we're gonna just kind of run around and find some. Oh, here's not here's one. <clears throat> Good morning, Twitchy. How are you doing, friend? We're just cutting some. We're cutting some trees because that's kind of something you have to do in this game sometimes when you want to do things. We're just. Cutting some wood. Got a little, little tree mask now. <laughs> Helps us resist poison, which is in the area we're currently trying to explore when we're not just doing shit like this. There's a lot of things that poison you, and it's they're not very much fun. We do need to find one more birch tree. Here we go, here's one. Oh, how did that not hit me? It literally was falling towards me. <laughs> Must have got lucky. I don't think it would have killed me because we have armor now, so these tr tree falling trees do a lot less damage than they otherwise do. Because uh, uh, early game, the trees will kill you if you're not careful and they fall on you. It's kind of funny the first time. But then the next few times after, you're just like, oh, fuck's sakes. <laughs> Alright, it is rainy and nasty. Let's get our cart and go back to our base. What do you want? Assholes. Stop throwing rocks at me. <laughs> Double kill. <laughs> Punk ass gray dwarves. Whee!
Let our stamina recover a little bit. Run up this hillside here. Roll to get away from the cart, because otherwise you kind of have to, like, manually detach from it. Oh, yeah, I, th I thought I said, uh, good morning, but if I didn't, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in. And, um, yeah, nice to see you. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm not necessarily sickly. I'm just stupid. <laughs> so I don't know. I wanted to make sure I said hi, though, because you're, you're, you're a good one. Uh, let's grab some wood from out here. And we now have the stuff to make. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, we need some of those. We need, like, 20 of these. Well, 19, because I think we have one. Yeah. Necky, that's mean. <laughs> You're like, puns are funny, but I will shame you for it. No! Not like this. Oh, come back! <laughs> Cart's, just got a, Cart's just got somewhere else to be, I guess. Must be nice. Um... What was it? Oh, yeah. We're gonna grab this to take along with us. Okay, five, five wood, four wood, and we got this stuff. I can put seven of these fine woods away. Cause we only we need forty. The other seven can kind of hang out. Cause we're 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 doing some work. We're doing some some structure work here. So let's go through this portal. So this game's form of fast travel, basically. Ugh. But you have to set it up yourself. We got these little fire dudes. They spawn around this like plume of fire, but they they spawn in the water. They take the water damage and they die, and then we can pick up their loot. <laughs> uh, so. I made a mistake by coming to this one first. I need to go to the other one that we have. Because we've got this one set up. We'll go to this one first. There's more of those dudes over there just dying a painful death. Well, I assume it's painful. It might not be, but it probably is. Okay, so then we have another one set up. You can already hear them dying before we even spawn in. Okay, I might need to make the, the, the ground near here a little lower. Because that one was running around suffering for a little bit. Which just isn't efficient, you know? Like, they need to be just dead immediately. Alright, that's probably better now. Um, there's something over there, but I'm not really that worried about it. Yeah, this is the place I needed to come to first, because we have a... No, oh, Skellington, come here. Parry smack, parry smack. Uh, let's flatten some ground around here. This is Certlings 2. We need to set up another one of these uh, portals. Do I have a workbench here? Did I just, like, break it? I must have, uh, or any little shitty trees around I can cut down. Maybe? I don't know. Deal with this skeleton real quick. Yeah, we, I, I expected there to be a workbench here so that we can um, 
build the other portal, but there's some trees right here. We'll just cut these down instead. Okay, we'll grab that, and that will let us make the workbench we need here. We'll just kind of put it over. I guess over here is fine. I don't want it too close to that because if, like, you see this, like, circle here, if that's, like, like within the area of where that um, fire plume is, these little guys won't spawn and that'll kind of ruin everything. Oh, he oh, hello, Stinky. This is why we made the poison resist mask because these assholes are everywhere. We still take some damage from them, from their poison, but nowhere near as much otherwise. Like, the poison ticks are like 1.6 instead of like 5. And then we got these pricks, too. Well, there was a jogger there. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? <laughs> anyway. Back to what we were trying to do before the skeletons and the slimes and up oh, there you are. I don't know where you went. Got him. All right. So now we have the workbench down. We should be able to place this down. that and we tag this with circlings three just because we have a third place we have a third spawn point for these guys set up and we'll head back through two then head back through one brings us to our base and then this, this portal that's untagged is connected back at three where we initially put it so what we do is rename we rename that one to Serling's three god they're just instantly dead uh Sertling's three so now that will link up to the one we made at two Which is fine. We want to be here because now we can make another portal back at, um, we'll run through and grab this stuff. But we can make another portal. Born to die. Oh, I caught on fire a little bit. Yeah, we wanted to make another portal at whatever dungeon we're going to be at, which is probably going to be this one. Ugh. wonder how many leeches are chasing me right now. Surprisingly none. And the leeches are nasty. You don't want to deal with them. Ah, crap. It's getting dark and we need to get some wood real quick so we can leave. Because unfun things spawn in the swamp at night. Like, these, like, fucking wraith ghosts that just, like, fly after you and try to beat your ass. Not ideal. So we'll set up that, and I'll let us make another portal, and this portal, uh, it's the pointy end here, will be right here, and it's unmar untagged, so it leaks back to the one we have at base, and we can just leave, like, later, <laughs> later, skeleton. <laughs> Those poor fire guys, their, their, their death is our gain, because... They give us coal, which previously we've had to make ourselves by burning wood, but they just kind of drop it for free when they die, and it's pretty awesome to not have to make your own stuff like that. They also give us lots of these things, which before long are going to start being a problem, because now we have too many. 
Like, originally, these are hard to get. So you have to go into these, like, dungeons to find them. And there's not very many of them, usually. But now we can just get way too many of these things. Kind of like the survival game problem of... First, some things are scarce, but then they're way too common. And then you've got too many of them. And it's just a hassle. But, you know, that's... I mean, I guess that's a good problem to have. I have too much stuff. Woe is me. I think maybe next stream we'll probably try to move house somewhere. Then again, like, this swamp is not a very good swamp, so we might end up moving house to somewhere else that's got a better one. Hello, Ash. Thanks for stopping in. I'm not going for much longer, but that's okay. I appreciate you showing up all the same. We're just rounding out our little Valheim stream here. How are these doing? Fire resist. Uh, fro fo frost? Fire? I can't read. Frost resists. Grab me! Lucky you, you have some brain cells left. I don't. <laughs> Oh, we got rested here. Let's go over here and grab it. Um, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll check my messages probably after stream, in like five, six minutes or so. We're just resting, and then we'll check on some miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> Fix all of our gear up. Uh, let's check on these. Oh, some of these are done. We're not really super worried about replanting them right now, because. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could, but. I'm not really super worried about replanting those right now, because, like, I don't play the, this file off stream. Or anything, so it's not like it really benefit planning replaying those again now. Make sure it's all fixed up. Cool. Oh, yeah, I built this ramp to get a boar back up in here, so I could have the boar breeder working again. But I haven't really been using it much anyway. But there are two boars in there. And they have, they did, they did make a few piggies that fall out of the little, it's not really even a shoot, it's just like a hole. They get just shot out of there when they're born. Then they come down here and then they kind of grow up. Tool base. Oh uh, no, that's, uh, that's my boar breeder. It's not actually, that's just like, it's just for breeding boars. My little house I have right now is, well, I don't need to close this gate, but my house I have right now is just this little shack. It's cozy. I really like this, like, little, like, kitchen nook I got right here, the little step up. I like that. Making some frost mead for the next stage of the game. We got a, a root mask now. I just made that, uh, just, like, tw 10, 10 minutes or so ago. Got some turnips seeds reproducing over here. Made some boars. We got three certling spawners set up and hooked up with this portal system. That's the trader that we found. And this is set outside the next dungeon we'll be going through next stream. Because we're get, trying to get iron. Over here is where we have stuff going on. We got our boat there. Certling spawners that we found. We fought. We we fought a. I don't. I think we fought one of the trees last stream. There we fought one of them last stream. We fought both of them this stream. I can't remember, but we basically lured the big tree abominations to um, the fire like surges, like the fire spouts. 
where these little guys are. Like, let me. I'm. Like, these guys spawn in the water and then take rapid water damage and die, and then they just leave all their stuff here. But yeah, the tree guys take a lot of damage from fire, so I just kind of lured it over here and very carefully let it, made it take fire damage. <laughs> Maybe not specifically this one, but like just one of the other ones, I think. Because currently I can't really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, but I don't need to if I can just burn them to death. Because they don't have much, much of a brain to really speak of. Okay, I think, yeah, over there is where another one of the, uh, certling, the certling spawners is. I don't know if there's, like, another one off in this peninsula or not. Didn't really look over here much. But now that we've got the root max mask, I can more safely explore this place on my own without having to worry about needing more potions because the root mask gives you a consistent poison resist which is nice you can do a lot more stuff in the swamp when you're not worried about being poisoned to death every five seconds by leeches or slimes or whatever I didn't really get a good look over here I think I might have found one of the trees over here when I was like wandering around I didn't really take a good didn't really take time to like look around for anything because I was like oh there's a tree and it's gonna kill me Cause they, they tend to do that if you're not careful. Okay, Stinky, come here. Yeah, I don't think there's really much of anything over here in this part. It's a shame. But at the very least, I did find three dungeons in this biome, so... Next stream, we'll be probably trying to go through both of them. Oh, hey, here's another tree. I can show you exactly what I did to kill this tree. After I kill this skeleton, at least. I can show you exactly how I managed it. Let me just get across here. Oh. Come on. Come on. Stinky. There you go. See, they catch on fire. They don't really like it, so they'll probably, like, run away for a little bit. But then we'll just kind of harass them and bring them back over here. Come on. Come on, you big palooka. Come here. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not very good sometimes at shooting arrows. This thing's like walking between trees and shit, too. Oh, well, I hit that arrow. It is a bee. It is big. It's being a pain in the ass, too. Because I don't really have a good enough shield to, like, parry its attacks, so I have to kind of resort to other means of fighting it. <laughs> Where are you going? It's just kind of, like, avoiding me. Come on, come on, jerk. Where are you going? Keep miss The camera keeps switching back to these little trees in the way. The heckin' big steppy, you're right. It does the big steppy, and I'm trying to get it back to the fire fall yeah it, it, they do like doing the the dumpy dump the dumpy drop rather I guess you could say you're annoying me skeleton but you're gonna get me killed if I focus on you much 
Come on, big steppy. Dos Steppies. <laughs> this is favorite favorite beer of this tree is Dos Steppies. Um, oh, hey. Just in time to see them die. It isn't that fun. So you'll just kind of do a little purette in the fire real quick and then you'll freak out and leave again. <laughs> Get out of the water. Ow. Owie. Come on. And even better, I might do that and then stay in the fire for a long time. And just burn continuously to death. And now it's dead. Well, cool story, bro. <laughs> That's how I fight these trees early on when you get here. Burn it. Yeah. <laughs> Burninating all the treeple, exactly. That's what you gotta do. Cause I'll, Cause I'll tell you what, I cannot... I'm not very good at the rolling combat. I've not really done much of that. I'm good at pa I'm decent at parrying. But my shield is not currently good enough to parry those tree guys attacks. So... We don't. But yeah, that, I, I was just kind of seeing if there was anything I missed in that area. And then the tree spawn, so I was wanting to show that off. We're going to unload our stuff, and then we'll be in and stream, because i got to do lunch and then get ready for work. Uh, here we go. Oh, not that. That's my armor. I just, like, stripped a lot on live TV. Not not advised. Pro probably don't do that. <laughs> and yeah, we, we've been using those circling spawners a lot, as you can see. They give us in, endless of those. Loot my busty stream. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's we'll grab a few wood, like three, like two more wood for uh, next stream. Cause we want to make a campfire in the 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 crypt so that we can. Um... Yeah, we want to make a campfire in the crypt so that we can get dry and restore HP and stuff like that, but that'll be next time. We're not, we don't have enough time to do anything like that right now, but let's fix up all of our stuff. I'll check one more time, see if these are ready. I think they are, of course. Eh, we can, we can check up, we can work, we can deal with that next time. I don't have time today. But yeah, that will be our stream for today. Let me last save 11 minutes ago. We'll save now. And log out and uh, quit the game. Oh. Are you streaming right now or soon, Birdie? Because I'll probably just I'll probably raid into you if you are. But um, yeah, that's going to be our stream for today. I'm I'm on call this weekend, so there's not gonna be a big Saturday stream to this week. Not today. Feels bad. Big sad. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's my stream for today. I'm not gonna be streaming Saturday because I'm on call for my job. So unfortunately, I need to be available for that. Um. Uh, yeah, thank you, Nikki. Uh, let me see if there's anyone on that I particularly want to raid into, but if not, then yeah, I don't really mind. Uh, let's see. Let me refresh Twitch here. Excuse me. Hmm. Actually, there is somebody online that I think I would prefer to stream otherwise. They are, she is also doing art, though, because I know you do art streams on, I think, Tuesdays or Thursdays, one of those two, but she's doing some art. So, we're going to raid into Eve the Orphan here. Ert! <laughs> yeah. We, we love to do some art. I actually might be doing an art stream in, in the future. I have some ideas of the bean that I kind of want to get put in to actual creation. So, I might do an art stream at some point in the future. Maybe, maybe next Saturday I could do it. I don't know. But I kind of want to at some point. I, I can directly let you know if I am... And if you want, we could, like, be on 
call and you can like bully me about like my art decisions. But for now, I'm gonna be ending my stream and we'll be reading into Eve the Orphan. I'll I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day.